Hallelujah, God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm Sheree Fong. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you bountifully in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Consider becoming a part of this family. You will be blessed bountifully in the name of Jesus. This prophetic word is coming to this one person just to encourage you just to tell you that it is worth fighting for. It is worth fighting for. It is worth not giving up on. You see, God says that there's this one particular person. You are going through so many attacks, so many attacks. You always are at the verge of these things, but it never happens. You are going through so many attacks. Like you are always trying, 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 trying. You're struggling. You are being attacked at every front and not for, on everything. But one particular thing in your life is being attacked. The devil doesn't want to see the word of God come to manifestation. You see, I came to understand this morning that there are people who go through persecutions because of the prophetic word they have received. Yes. There are people who go through attacks and persecutions because of a prophetic word they receive. Because the devil wants to make sure that that word never comes to manifestation. That is his assignment. That is what he wants to do. He wants to make sure that that word never comes to manifestation. No. No. I got a, a re, not a rejection. Not a rejection in my spirit. I, got, I felt like what I said was not what the Holy Spirit wanted me to say. And this is what the Holy Ghost said as you say. He says the enemy attacks you or brings in persecution because he wants you to give up on the word. Because you know the word of God has power to manifest itself. The word of God cannot be broken. But we can give up on the word of God. Oh my God. Thank you Holy Spirit. That is what he's saying. That the, persec the many persecutions you're going through right now is because of the prophecy on your life. The enemy wants you to give up chasing that prophecy. You see, as long as you hold on to that word, it will surely come to pass. It will not tarry. It will surely come to pass. How do you explain the fact that after 25 years, Abraham and Sarah still could have a child? How do you explain the fact that after 40 years, a prophecy was given to Noah and after 40 years, it came to manifestation? You see, as long as you hold that word, the enemy knows that the word of God is powerful. But if you let go, okay, I'm trying to explain this. Imagine that you are going to somewhere. Maybe your friend invites you over to their place and then you, you have to take a particular route to get there. And the friend tells you that when you get to this junction, just take the road straight and walk right straight down. You get to my house, all right? So if you set on this journey and you're going, all right, and you enter, the, you get to the junction and you take the road straight and you're going straight, 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 straight. Imagine that you walk for 10 minutes and you say, ah, you know what? I'm tired. I can't continue on this journey. And you decide to turn back and go home. Or turn back and go a different direction. Guess what? You have missed that place you're going to. You have missed the blessing that was supposed to be in that place. You have missed seeing your friend. So when you give up on the word of God, it's just like what that what you did when you gave up going to your friend's house. Your friend still lives there. Everything is still the same. But you have missed meeting your friend the moment you turned back. Because there was a certainty. If you kept going straight downward, you were going to meet your friend's house. But because of the, of the challenges of the journey, you chose to give up. So the enemy cannot displace God's word. He cannot relocate God's word from where it is. But he can torment you so much that you choose to give up on the word. You choose to give up. So you change your mind. You turn and you take a different direction. Because you say that this journey is too difficult. So the attacks you're going through, the persecutions you're going through right now, because the enemy wants you to give up on the word. It's like what Job's wife said to Job. 
He says, why don't you just curse God and die? You know, when you say, I give up. Many of us have turned back from a journey that was supposed to be a blessing. A journey that was meant to be the, the, the fulfillment of God's word in our lives. We turned back and took a different direction. Sometimes because of what we saw from afar. Sometimes because of what people said around us. Sometimes because of what we felt, the challenges we went through on that particular journey, we chose to give up. Um, I want you to understand that the word of God is true. It doesn't change. It is constant. It is constant. It cannot be relocated. It is constant. So no matter the challenge you see on your way, if you stay persistent, if you don't give up, if you don't lose heart, you are going to get that manifestation. You are going to get that manifestation. That's, that's definitely true. That's sure if you don't give up. Just do not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, you will reap a reward if you don't give up. All right? So I want you to brace yourself. I want you to, I want to pray for you for strength. And God will give you strength to continue on this journey. I don't know what the challenge has been, but I want to pray that God will give you strength to continue on this journey to where he's taking you to, that you will not give up. I pray that the Lord will strengthen you with might from your inner man to continue this journey, the journey to your glory in the name of Jesus. That God will surround you with people that will help you, strengthen you, help to re-strengthen you every day in the name of jesus amen god bless you i love you i'll see you soon shalom